Good morning, everybody. This is going to be a fun class. Uh, when you leave today, I hope your head is hurting slightly, but for good reasons. I'm, I hope that the discussion we have today will stretch you, will we'll make, we'll make you think. This, this will not be calculus. You know, you know, turn the crank. No, we're going we're gonna to think today. All right, so we're going to talk in greater depth about Hamiltonian paths and Hamiltonian cycles. So let's start with the notion of a Hamiltonian cycle. When you have a graph on at least three vertices, of course, a cycle in the graph is called a Hamiltonian cycle when it includes every vertex. So in other words, you start somewhere and begin a cycle visiting every vertex exactly one time and returning to where you started. And a Hamiltonian path is the same concept. You simply drop the restriction that the last vertex in the list is adjacent to the first. All right, let's make sure that we're on the same page. So we've done problems like this before. So take this one again. Does this graph have a Hamiltonian path? So I'm, I'm going to ask you to just take a few seconds and look at it and see if you can, if you can see one. Now, of course, you, you don't have anything to write on, or you have your notes. But uh, just look at that and see if you can answer it. I've seen some thumbs up and some shaking heads, and so the, the consensus seems to be yes. Uh, well, the answer is yes. And by darkening the edges, I have shown you in a pictorial sense, and by writing out the listing explicitly at the bottom, uh, I, I have signaled that the answer is yes. So is it clear um, when I list them, I'm intending that you start at 12, then go to 9, 17, 14, et cetera. OK? But if you'll notice, this is a Hamiltonian path, but it is not a Hamiltonian cycle, because it starts at 12, it ends at 4, and the edge 12, 4, or 4, 12 is not present in the graph. So this graph, the, at least the evidence that I've provided, has a Hamiltonian path, but I still don't know if it has a Hamiltonian cycle. So let's return to the picture and now change the question. Does it have a Hamiltonian cycle? Now, if you're struggling with this, and you don't see how others are quickly coming up with answers and it's seeming to take you a little bit longer, don't worry about that. No one knows how to do this problem well. If you find one, you're just being a little luckier than the person next to you. Now, of course, the more of these you do, the luckier you get, but that's, that's another issue. Well, the answer is yes. And this time, I have indicated a Hamiltonian cycle. You can see very clearly in the drawing that it's a, indeed a Hamiltonian cycle. Uh, down at the bottom, I have listed the vertices in order. But now notice that 1 and 15 are adjacent. And so that's what makes it a Hamiltonian cycle. Are these examples clear? OK. Now let's talk about the notion of a certificate. Given a graph G, a yes answer to the question, does G have a Hamiltonian path, can be validated by providing what's called a certificate. A certificate is just a permutation of the vertex set. An impartial referee, and you should think of the referee as a, as a computer, can quickly check whether or not your certificate is correct. 
So what, what is it that the computer, the referee, has to check? In your permutation, is every vertex listed, and is every vertex listed exactly once? Is it a real permutation? But that's very easy for a computer to do. And is it the case that each consecutive pair of vertices in your permutation is an adjacent pair? And again, that's easy to do. Uh, and this kind of comment applies for the Hamiltonian path problem as well as the Hamiltonian cycle problem. So if you say yes, you can provide a certificate. Now, I, I want to get away from pictures, and I want you to be thinking in terms of data. So here on the left, I give you a data file for a graph. All right. Now, we have to have this offline conversation. What do these data files represent? So here's the kind of communication you would have with someone before you ship them this data file. I'm going to give you a data file. It'll just be an ordinary text file. And when you open up the file, inside on the top line, you will see a positive integer. That positive integer signals that the vertex set are the first n integers, whatever n is. So in this case, the first line contains the integer 6. And so you have told your colleague, whether your colleague is another person or a computer or the world, the vertex set of my graph is the set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of the first six positive integers. Then you explain that the remaining lines in the file will consist of two integers per line. The two integers must be in the range 1 to n, where n is on the first line. The order that you write the two integers on the line does not matter. So on the second line of this file, when I write 5 space 2, I could have written 2 space 5. It's the same information. And computers can tell when you have reached the end of the file. All right, so here, the end of the file is just the bottom of this blue page. All right, now, is it clear how you could communicate either with another person or with a machine via a data file rather than a picture? Okay. So now you ask, does this graph have a Hamiltonian path? The answer is yes, and the certificate is the permutation 631452. So if there's a doubting person about the correctness of that certificate, you simply begin to check it. So what do you check? First, is it a permutation of the integers 1 through 6? Well, there's 6 in it, there's 3 in it, there's 1, 4, 5, and 2. Yes, they're all there, and they're all there only once. So yes, it, it is a permutation. Now, does it correctly reveal a Hamiltonian path? What has to be checked is that each consecutive pair is an edge. So I see the consecutive pair 6, 3, and I scan my data file to see, do I see either 6, 3 or 3, 6? And the answer is yes. And you can scan down the whole path, and you quickly find all of the consecutive pairs as edges in the graph. So you see, the correctness of the answer is assured. No one can dispute it. not a drawing, it's data that can be checked. Does this graph have a Hamiltonian cycle? And again, the answer is yes, and the certificate is the listing of the vertices. Now, if you were watching very carefully, it's the same permutation, but it's a different graph. Is it clear how one checks these certificates to be certain that they are indeed what they promise to be? You cannot lie. You cannot give a certificate and say, oh, this proves that the graph 
is a, has a Hamiltonian path, and then someone else checks it and says, well, actually, you just made that up. That's, that doesn't work. OK, so in this case, you have to check that all the numbers are there. It's the same permutation. They're there, there only once. All the edges are present. But look at the last one. I also need the edge 6, 2. And it's at the bottom of the list. Now, let's go backwards. See, it isn't there. I changed that last line from the edge 6, 1, which wasn't used to this one, and it is used. 